and controlled. Notice his head doesn't move around. He's got a good tall posture. And as he's going around his pelvic position, his center of mass is changing, creating a little bit of shift because of the load. And this is kind of a unique way of exposing the body to, if I have a load on the right, have a load posterior, have a load on the left. And again, the more it can trust that I'm gonna maintain my lower body position while I'm doing this task, the better it's gonna feel and the more it's gonna carry over. And so this is also a really great option that I wanted to make sure and show you guys, okay? Um, sometimes if you have somebody, you could use a dumbbell, you could use, uh, some people take a half foam roll, something even light like that and go through the movement and that's enough for their client to even feel it. You know, because the movement of their arms and the weight of their arms is appropriate for that level. But in most cases, we're gonna use a little bit of a light kettlebell and take them through that movement. Okay, the kettlebell's just easy because of the long handles. Okay. Um, the payoff press, if you're familiar with that, is the one where I'm gonna be lateral right here, and I could anchor this to anything, and he's gonna make sure that his hands stay centered in front of his chest, and then he's simply gonna press out and back, staying nice and tall. This is very specific to challenging the frontal plane and making sure that we can also challenge it in this direction. Notice if his right leg is forward, I'm challenging, I'm anchored on the lateral, outside lateral side. Now, it's a little bit more of a challenge to stay balanced and faced here, but again, I want him to feel on both sides this medial side anchor that he can maintain that position with that challenge. So you can either just have them flip their body or obviously uh, flip the position if you're just working with a partner. Okay, so let's go ahead and practice that, try the payoff 